you stand is not just forgiveness. It is interaction, constant interaction with God. That's what knowledge is. Knowledge, biblically, is not what we call head knowledge. It's interactive relationship. So when the prophet says to Israel on behalf of God, you only have I known of all the nations of the earth. Okay, now try to get the idea here. God is not saying, I don't know anything about the Nubians or the Eskimos. You're the only people I have any knowledge of. Obviously, he's not saying that, right? He knows about all of them. What is he saying? That's where you get the biblical conception of no is interaction. What he is saying is, you're the only people on earth that I have entered covenant relationship with. And in relationship to which I am a living God. A living God. When Adam knew Eve, it was not just head knowledge. When Mary said, I know not a man, she wasn't saying, I don't know about men. She's saying, I have not been in a certain interactive relationship with a man. So it's very important to understand that now. Grace and knowledge go together. So in 2 Peter 3.18, where the writer says, Grow in the grace and the knowledge of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I'm going to challenge you to write that verse in your words, utilizing the notion of knowledge and grace that I've tried to give you. Can you do it? 2 Peter 3.18, grow. Now, you will notice that that is in the imperative. That means it's something for us to do. <coughs> that is the human part of holiness. And I'm hoping that I can burn that phrase into your minds so that you'll never forget it. Because that is the issue. We don't need to worry about God's part. He'll do that. You can, he'll take care of that. But there is a role for us to play. Grow in, gra in the grace and knowledge. Now, you, how would you do that? And I'm, I hope that you will uh, take the challenge to write it in the words that I've given you about grace and about knowledge. You can share that with your spiritual friend.